Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to the final episode of Farming Simulator 17, Gold Crest Valley. It's 5.24 in the morning, we've got rain coming in. It's a nice, bright sunrise to begin with, but I have a feeling that uh, that rain's going to come here sooner than we're ready for. we got all that uh, hay yet to bale, and you can't bale wet hay, it will mold. So let's get this guy started, and get the plowing going over here. Hire him out and lined up well. Yeah, well enough. All the all the headlights have turned on. And let's toggle over. We've got this guy cleaning up the last of field four. Then we'll move him over to, to fall in behind the plowing. And then we've got our row of, of harvesters over here waiting to go home soon. But let's get over to this guy, the uh, the Voltra, and begin bailing. Now I was trying to decide what to do. Let's see, B and B? Yeah. What to do with the hay. It's a long trip to get all the way back to our farm to drop it off at the barn. But uh, it might be nice to store this for, for some future use too. So as we get further down, you'll start to see a new shed over there. So that's the big one. It's when you drive into with all the equipment to park it. And I think it's enough headroom up there to actually bring the, uh, uh, the hay trailer in, the, the one that picks up the hay and stack it in there. So we'll, we'll give that a try. So let's hop. That didn't work. That was supposed to be in cab view. <laughs> let's try that again. V and C this time. There we go. Anyway, turn up my speakers a little bit here. Is that still not working? Mm, yeah, yeah. There is an advantage to the overhead drone view. You can see what you're doing. It feels more real inside the cab. And inside the cab, let's see, we want B and B. There it is. Okay, rewind. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, live TV. Anyway, it's right here. You just can't see what's going on, except you can see that it's working right there. Anyway, that should be uh, quite a, uh, an impressive... Uh, uh, storage bay over there for, for equipment for the stuff that's going on in this area. There's, we've got a lot of fields bought over here now. I hope our eyes completed the task good. Um, well, potato field was... Uh, potato? Yeah. Was three, and we just bought four. And this is five. We own the next two down there in front of that mill. So, got a lot of, uh, a lot of investment in this part of the map now. So it felt like that great big... Uh, storage shed there was was definitely worth the investment. Pop back out and see what we're doing. There we go. One, two, three? Huh. I thought there would have been one drop somewhere in this run right here. Besides the very beginning. And that's surprising because we're dropping them pretty quick right now. For some reason that row over there didn't have the, uh, the quantity in it that this one does, dropping off quite regularly. It is odd, isn't it? That, that big long pass there without uh, without any more bales. Anyway, I'm just kind of gauging where that plow is going to be when we hit, what, like 16 bales? And trade off for this tractor. I wonder if we should trade off kind of at each end, just because I don't have to run all the way back down. Let's go for one more pass, there and back. Now, there's a big pile at the end. I should push that, uh, that bale out quickly. The harvester is programmed to, to stop at the end and, and unload all of the, uh, uh, the hay that's, that's uh, backed up in it, or straw. Which is probably the way that uh, you should do it if you're running it yourself too. I'm just too impatient to do so. But, uh, yeah, I think the trader back there will hold 16. That's what I'm remembering. We'll see how that goes. Get uh, these bales picked up after this pass. And then, probably by then, he will be on his third pass. I don't remember if the plow goes faster or the cultivator goes faster. Hmm. I'd want the plow to get enough uh, head start before the, the cultivator came in. 
uh, started conflicting at the turns. So maybe we'll let him go three or four more passes before we'll introduce the other one to the field. Alright, I'm pulling into here. I'm kind of out of tractors. Otherwise, I was going to go grab the uh, the sower and come in behind the cultivator. I guess we could probably try to sneak that in somehow, just to kind of see the process of, of uh, how it all comes together when you've got the full fleet up and running. So eventually we're going to need another good sized tractor like, like these last three that we bought and haul the big sower in. Though the sower can come in when we're about half done with everything else because he goes, I think he goes significantly faster than the others. The sower does tend to catch up to the cultivator. So I need to give him a good head start. But it's kind of fun to have a field this big and and uh, especially if you got help, more than just the helpers, because some of these jobs like this one you have to do yourself if you're multiplying. And someone's running the harvester, someone else is picking up the grain while someone else is coming in behind with the plow and then the cultivator. And in between, getting the uh, everything bailed and picked up. And you can imagine how much fun it'd be to have four or five people on one map all tackling a big field together. All right, let's put this guy right over here. Leave your right like that. Hop out. Jump into this one. And B, I think. Yeah. All right, let's go pick these up. Now, it's easiest to pick them up after you've done several rows. So then you're not limited to just running uh, back and forth in the same row. You can stagger back and forth between several if you can steer. Now, after two, there's a long wait. Oh, not as long as I thought. It gets longer as you go, as it gets shoved further back. I'm watching the animations. I oh, missed one. Now we'll catch it on the way back. Oops. And for some reason, I'm hitting B now instead of C. You get an in-cab view. I think it's time to move on to a new game. <laughs> the brain has broken. Okay. No, oh, this guy's coming up too soon. Slow down. No, that wasn't number two. That's number two. Okay. Hello. There we go. And... That's it. There's one right here in the shadows. So, 5.30 now. How? Got it? Got it. Anywhere over there? I can't move my head to see through that column. Alright, over there. No, we're fine. And let's grab this one. Why am I not turning? Oh, I guess my back wheel is kind of tugged, in, tugged into the uh, trailer there. Wow, this is the little tractor, the little case, and I am now really feeling it. I'm having a hard time getting any speed up. So, I guess we got 12 over there. Let's go ahead and let's pop out here. Yeah, he is really struggling now. But I'm out of big tractors. Hmm. This might well be worth going to pick up another tractor real quick. And I can only turn so far before I get to that... Uh, that pickup head there. Let's stay out here for a little bit. Pick up another tractor and what? I was going to say that I could use it to uh, go get the sower and go ahead and do what I talked about, but it doesn't really solve the uh, the issue of this guy struggling. He's picking up two more tractors. That's probably pushing it. Well, there's 16. Let's go see the new storage shed. I'm just going to go ahead and cut right through. Rain on its way. We're not going to worry about leaving the other fields pristine right now. All right. This is closer to the kind of storage that I had in, in the Westbridge Hills map. That's what it came with. Put all of your tractors inside, all of your equipment. I'm thinking that we can put this guy back over here. Can't tell how close I am. 
There we go. Zoom inside. There we are. That's pretty good. All right. Oh, no. Oh, it used to pop it up. What does it do now? 15, it was O. Um, where am I? That's the trailer. Operating position is B. Yeah. Unload bales is Y. So Y is the new O. Okay. I've been playing this for two years now. And, or a year and a half now. And I'm still thinking of the original way that we did it with O being the, uh, what triggered this action here. Alright, back you up. We have enough head height. Now, how am I straight-wise? Let's do this. Looks like we can squeeze one more in along the other side. Oh, now i got to go back out again so I can see. And I've gone too far. Right there. Why? And the game does this so much better. I can't tell you how many times I used to do this and hit O. And it would be like they were spring-loaded. Boing! And they were all over the place. <laughs> Why? Okay. Bring you back. Fun animations here. Let's see. Let's get rid of this one. That's a little better. Everything pulling back into place. And I'm just going to pull back up to the front. Yep. I like that. All right. Let's get you turned around. Eventually, the pickup head will pull up on its own. And then when we need to fill the uh, the water tank, it's right here. In fact, we can probably store it here now. Hmm. Now, I had to put this really close to the field. I did not like doing that, but I was trying to get it off of this beach. We're getting starting to drop downhill over there, so couldn't uh, couldn't move it over. I would like to have had a, a, uh, a pathway along the side. But the uh, talking too long on where the plow is. The equipment is always going to run the length of the field here. Now the question is whether it will stick out farther. That's the one thing. I have to always start in this position right here and aim it real close to that edge. All right, let's get a few more of these uh, bales picked up. Oh, I need a bigger tractor. I really need a bigger tractor. Yep, I'm fighting this thing. <sighs> let's do it. Let's do it. Which one? Which one? Right there. We are... We picked up this... No, it wasn't the cow edition. We picked up this guy. That's our biggest tractor, the S-Series. Otherwise, we've got... These guys? Let's see. Not this level. We're down in... Where's the Massey? Ultra. Now, we got this guy. And the other was this one. This is the Warrior. It's, it's painted black. And I was curious to see what the Lamborghini was like. So, mid, middle range right here. And that would do most of what we want. So, yeah, let's go ahead and actually buy it. Let's actually buy this one. Uh, front loader attachment, yes. And engine setup, I always go to the best. That takes us up to just under the, the upper level of tractors. So you're paying less for it, I think. I haven't checked to verify that. But but uh, middle range acting like a big a big boy. Anyway, so that's a, that's a good chunk of horsepower there. Wheel setup. Go with weights. Twin rear. That I haven't seen either. But I'll go with weights. And by you... Could not change the color, so this one's going to be white. Yes. And okay. So let's back, 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 and turn you off. Let's actually head out there and pick that up real quick. I always touch that tilde key when I touch the escape. Drives me nuts. You're sitting over here. Chop. You enter. There we are. Don't need these two. In fact, I need to return that one. I'll do that after this field's done. Let's head over... And, well, first of all, let's, well, let's get out on the road. Right in here real quick. What's this guy look like? Nobody behind us. There's our front PTO takeoff. Nice looking rig. Yeah, fuel tank there. And sky cab. Let's, uh, let's get inside. 
Oh yeah, looks good. Looks like a Lamborghini, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's head over to the farm on the way to field five. Clear, clear, not clear. Ah, uh, we get to follow somebody. Oh, well, maybe we'll turn off right here. And pick up... I was going to say pick up a sower. Didn't even stop, I tell you. And, of course, I didn't either, did I? <laughs> um, big sower means this one's got to run it. And that's a problem. Little sower is going to take forever. But the, uh, the, the smaller case can handle it. So that's really what it comes down to. Do we want something for the case to be doing? Hmm. Normally you would take, you wouldn't even consider a small sower for something like Field 5. But this was 200 and some thousand dollars here. I'm not going to go do that again. So uh, let's, let's see what the options are. We've got two sowers that I remember. There might even be a third. Did we get a sower with the coon pack? We did. We did. I'll show it to you. It is the one that had the uh, the seed storage on the front, just like the the fertilizer has a fertilizer tank that can go on the front of the tractor. This one had a seed tank that went on the front, but it was also attached to a cultivator and a plow. But what if we got the that setup going, brought it over there, and put that on the case? Okay, how best to show this? It was over here, right? I don't remember now. Now, what is this guy right here? Um, let's see if we can find it. Up in our garage. I'm pretty sure that's Coon, which means it's going to be clear at the end. Okay. So I'm thinking of these two. You are Sower. Uh, needs 100. I think the case was 140, 145, and this guy is the additional tank for the sewing machines. So these two will sew. What was the one we just saw, though? You? No. That's in our garage. That's a big one, isn't it? You, sewing machine. <clears throat> hmm. Let me look at it again. Oh, you're all hooked together. Is this the sandwiched unit? Let me think about that. No, that tube goes into there. Because we had one that we did all this. There were multiple connections. There was a plow. You're part of this guy. You're the front tank. There was a cultivator and a plow. Let me pop back into here again. Uh, garage. It was February when I recorded that, so it's been a while. Um, see, I'm looking at this guy. That looks like there's... This doesn't quite look the same to me. Um, you are a cultivator. You are a plow. We hook this up to this, and somehow the sower connected into there, too. Where are those guys parked out? Interesting. Well, unfortunately, I can't spend time to figure it all out because I'm uh, kind of hurting on time here. So you are the the Espro 3000. All right, let's go back and look at it that way. So we're on P, Garage, Espro, you, Coon Pack. No sense of that. You, Espro 3000 right there. All right, you do all of them. Okay, and uh, 110 horsepower, working with the 3 meters. Now, what are you? You are the Kuhn BTF 4000, 4 meters versus 3, and 100 horsepower. Capacity, uh, what am I seeing here? Capacity, you have no capacity because you are the capacity. So you're 1,500. That's tiny. You, 2,500. That's not that big either compared to um, 
move on back to our the one that we're used to. That's coming up. You? Oh, 2200. You. You're the big boy. You're only 31. I was thinking much bigger numbers than these. Okay. That's the one that I would normally use in something like Field 5. That guy's got a working width of 6 meters. So, and you are the one that we put in the sugar beets. Nope, that's not sugar beets. That's corn and sunflower. And you are the uh, oilseed radish? That's oilseed radish, isn't it? Okay. Well, in that case, we want to grab the Espro 3000, use the 2500, and it'll still run on the case. All right, that answered. Let's do it. And hit the tilde again. There we go. <laughs> All right, jump in. And I wonder what capacity is sitting in there. And I keep looking up and seeing that rain symbol just taunting me. Right there. There we are. Uh, capacity, we're, we're there. We've got 2,200 in it. Uh, do we top it off or not? Hmm. You know, I just got to thinking. I was running through my head real quick. What uh, crop do we want to put in here? Whether I'm going to top it off depends on if I have access. Did I leave room in front of the seed or is there something blocking it? Yeah, there's the big one right there on the right that I would normally use here. I don't know that I can get into that. The seed has to be really close to the hopper. And there's a lot of equipment behind the seed storage there. But what crop to put in over there just dawned on me. I would probably want a crop to go into something as big as five that doesn't require dumping as often. Something like canola or soy. Okay, let's go all the way till we touch. Can I fill our... I can't. It is close enough. Okay, let's go. And let's get to five. And then we'll swap this out with the case tractor. And closes the lid. And let him do the sewing while this guy is hauling hay much faster than we were able to before. And after all this delay, I kind of wonder how close that plow has gotten. And whether or not he will just push the bales away or they will simply be plowed right into the soil. I'm kind of glad there's no official stop sign over there, because I disobey it all the time. <laughs> it's just um, um, a guideline. Yes, that's it. All right, sewing so will go off to this end over here. Now we still got time. Yeah, plowing is fine. So let's set this over here to come in after the the uh, cultivator. We can get the cultivator going too. Alright, so you're going to be somewhere over here. And take you over to here. Um, up to this guy. I love the sound of that tractor. Uh, hop out of you. Disconnect you. Where are you? There you are. Alright, let's go pick up another load. Um, though before I do... Hmm, well, beat. Let's get the Massey Ferguson uh, cultivating. Right there. So let's do that. And where are you? You're all the way out to the other end. Okay, E. And actually, pop out. It'd be faster to do this. So the Massey was here. Let's bring you in. Are we in the air? We are. And 258 liters of fuel, so that will do this job. We're going to miss a little bit of the plowing on the ends, and I'm not going to worry about that. Well, the cultivator will clean it all up. It'll look fine. And we'll lose maybe 1% or 2% of the productivity throughout this whole field. That's not enough to worry about. All right, so if I shift tab back, I'm in the... Uh, this is the warrior. Yeah, and yep, looks good. Doing a good job there. 
So five past this is the Voltra. And then a whole bunch past this is that one. Now I think if you reset all these back to the uh, store, uh, reset, it will start to reorder things. So the last one reset is the last one in the list. So you can kind of lump all of your tractors together at the end if, if you wanted to go that route. So there's, there's ways to, to game it to, to make it more convenient for you if you're tabbing back and forth from one to another. Um, let's hop out of view. Let's get the last of these bales picked up so that uh, there's no obstruction for the plow over there. And let's see what I can do from inside the cab this time. There we go. Now we're going to have to turn real tight after this one. Yeah, this is a fun game. It really is. It's a game that's hard to stop recording because there's no real end to it and you don't get bored. There's always something to do that that uh, it might sound odd at the moment that when you jump in the tractor and start doing it, you find an hour has gone by and, and you realize that was a whole lot more fun than I thought it would be and when can we do it again? So... But uh, I think it's time to move on to, to something different. I'll probably do another one when we get to the uh, Farming Simulator 19 coming out. Uh, sometime probably at the end of 2018. If Noble Rambler is still a functioning YouTube channel then. Don't know what the uh, future is for this channel. You know, this, this hobby does take an awful lot of time from, uh, from real life. From running the business and doing other things. But uh, at the very least, I wanted to put a conclusion on this one. You know, long term, who knows. 10 out of 16 bales back there. Okay, so let's park this guy and go bale some more. Plowing's happening, cultivating is happening, and then in a little while, we'll get the seeding, the sowing going. And then uh, we'll see where it goes. Over here. Uh, plow is not going to be here for a while, so I can safely leave this right here. And coast in there. Boy, has a lot of weight. Just keeps coasting. And jump in. So I'm on the ground. Just need to be. Okay. Got it all? Got enough. Alright. In cab... I like the little dandelions that just show up out of nowhere. Every once in a while something floats by. Now, how much of this do you guys want to watch repeated over and over and over again? 20 times. I kind of wonder if I want to uh, time lapse some of this. Hmm. That might be the way to go. Yeah, I think so. See if I can get this guy stacked. Well, it's hard to do it with this roof. Stacked over in that space that I missed. Now this way, I need to get a lot closer. Probably needed to take this a lot less aggressively. Yeah, I might be able to make that turn. Now yeah, let's let's even it out a little bit. Okay, backing up like so. Now swing it in there. Uh, 
Not quite. One more pass. That's looking better. further. I'll knock it all over. Why? Oh, and let's get out of there. Okay, here it is. Now let's go get one more trader full and we'll be done with this part for a little while. Now, looks like the first one's right up in there. Head. There it goes. So it should pull up automatically, and I gotta bring it back down again. Yeah, we're clean up at that end. And after this, I'd say let's get the sower going. Follow in behind the cultivator. Uh, need to reset. There it goes. these two. Even this tractor, with all of its power, takes quite a bit of time to, to get sped up and grab or get moving again. So let's... what is that? Six of them, okay. And let's spin this bale around by tapping it there. All right, that works. All right, let's put him away and grab the little um, little case tractor and see just how well he can handle the the sower back there. Coast in and hop out. Okay, so plow is there, and we're staying well ahead of him. Uh, 6.06 a.m. Rain is holding off. Cultivator is there. Is that far enough ahead? I guess if there's a problem, it will let us know. Let's back into this guy. Where'd you go? There you are. Right there. Q. And let's see. What do we want in here? Um, why? Yeah. Grass, wheat, barley, canola, and soy. I'm kind of thinking canola would be the next choice to drop into here. And X to unfold you, or are you unfolded? Am I... I'm on the right one. There is no X. Okay. So apparently that is its final state. Drop into here. Hire you out. What you gonna do? Drop down. Disc it up right there. The seed is dropping down the tubes, I'm assuming. We don't have any fertilizer with this run. You don't see a second bar on the on the, uh, the little menu there at the bottom right. So it's only seed. So I would imagine that is seed that is dropping down those tubes. I see it comes out of the bottom of the hopper here and goes up that silver tube up in the base of this and out all of these hoses. Okay. So is this what they consider a seed drill? Is it kind of injecting? I'm not sure. I'm thinking, though, it drops right in front of those discs underneath the hoses, and that uh, stirs up the, the soil underneath. I've got the wires back here to you know, do the fine tuning of, of uh, making our little rows right here and, and uh, the final shapings. Okay, so 
this is the case. So I can tap a couple of times, kind of go through the rest of our equipment and see what it's doing. We'll follow him around a corner, see what he's up to. And I think the cultivator's catching him. I think we're going to have to pause all that equipment over there for pretty soon with a couple of passes and we're going to be starting to hit some, uh, some conflicts. All right, you... Actually, you're going at six miles an hour. Shift tab, you're going at six miles an hour. Okay, and then back to this guy, you're going at eight miles an hour. Eight or nine. So you're the one that's going to catch. Catch up. So you finish your row, then you come around and do a turn. Go back in. Take off again. 4% uh, used up. One pass. Yeah. I'm going to have to uh, I'm gonna bring some seed out here. I can see that. Anyway, let's get back to something that has something to do with bailing. There we go. Back to the Voltra. And let's be. Is that in the air? V. Oh, it was down. Okay. And let's make some more. Make some more hay, make some more straw. left? Something like that. We're almost done. Uh, at least for the hay. Yeah, these guys have got a long day ahead of them. I think most of that can be done in, well, plowing in the rain may be a little tough, but the rest of it will probably work fine. I don't know. Um, turn him off, and what does it take to get over to, let's see, we're at the, okay, that's the new tractor, which means that was at the end, so this guy is the beginning. How are we doing here? Actually doing well. There's a lot of cultivated land ahead of us. Even though we're going faster than the others, we're not... We have a narrower width. That must be yes. So we have to uh, take more passes. So it looks like the timing's looking pretty good here then. You're staying well enough ahead of that one. Okay. Yeah. 
That's working out well. Let's find our baler and get these last four rows done. This is starting to get a little bit more challenging. I'm trying to do the double row in here, which shows me cl so close to that wall. It's kind of hard to keep the camera zoomed right. Let's see, you further this way, and then let's back you up like that. How close to that we can get. That's pretty good. Where am I at depth wise? We're in it right now. In fact, I touched it, didn't I? Did I touch it or did I just get near it and the uh, the physics freaked out? I don't think I touched it. Yeah, it just started wobbling. Okay, why? Like so. Yep, that's a wobbling. Get it any closer than that. Uh, let's go forward. Like so. And let's back it this way for a little while. Then bring it in this way. Alright, now that's going to touch. Where is the edge? There you are. No, nope, can't get any closer. That gets worse. <laughs> Let's bring it out and do this. That's a little bit better. Rotate over. That's probably about as close as I am going to get. Zoom back over here. Forward and Y. At least. In. Okay, so Y brings it back down again, and it is hard to make this turn out of here. It very quickly throws the wheels into the equipment right there, so I can't make it any a sharper turn than that. Alright, let's go get uh, the rest of these bales, and that will pretty much be the end of the episode and the end of the series. So, don't forget to uh, take a look at the Patreon page if becoming a, a crash survivor on RimWorld interests you. Otherwise, tune into the series, and if you want to be one of the, uh, the characters afterward, let me know. And uh, I'll uh, re rename a, a prisoner, pop your name in there. Otherwise, Ostrib is still going strong, and enjoying that game. So... Finish off this current town that we're working on. And maybe a patch or two will pop up. And we'll do another town, and, and uh, I'll just raise that veil. And I might uh, play around with the name save file or name file for the game. Pop some names in there that uh, are a little more familiar. That's an idea. Put a bunch of subscribers in there. Randomly pairs up with Boom. It'd be kind of, uh, kind of comical. Especially since many of my subscriber names I can't tell if they're male or female. So, you just uh, toss everybody into the male and the female and you see who lines up. Which means we could have two, uh, two Cathras married to each other if it lines up right. <laughs> we'll see. Where am I at? 11? I don't think I can make this turn. 
Yeah, oh, I can. Whoa, I made it all right. There we go. I like using the tractor to uh, bounce the bales into the right alignment. Works well sometimes. I guess we'll come off from this side over here and bounce that corner and we'll line it up better. All right, two more. That momentum really tosses me off to a side. And I go to steer back, and it takes a long time to uh, for the tractor to respond. There have been several turns that I've tried, and I've just had to give up mid-turn. There's just no way I was going to make it. Uh, B. Whoa, I'm hitting all the buttons. F. Okay, so I missed my alignment there big time. Let's back back out. I'm trying to get back to WASD, and off by one. One key can have devastating results. All right, let's swing it in close here, and then come as straight out of that, yep, yeah, as I can, which isn't that responsive. Okay, so if I were to, well, if I could just stay inside the building, if I were to bounce you this way, I mean, I'm going to come close to where I want to land. Huh? That's as far as that goes. Oh, actually, I'm there. Okay. A lot of it for a little bit. I actually went too far. Now, depth wise, where am I at? I've actually got a ways to go. Okay. From here, I couldn't tell. I thought I was just about there. Okay, so. Actually, what do I want to do? Let's take it closer. that. Now, what's my depth? Looks like I have a ways to go yet. Now, straighten out. Are we going to touch? No, I think we're there. Okay. Now, let's see about tipping that. So, let's go forward. And we're just about touching there. And why? Let's see. I guess i got to come forward a bit. That tip. So, we put that corner in there, isn't it? Yeah, let's go forward a little more. Then we'll back it back in. Then I'll use the nose of the tractor to push the piles back together again. Makes it look neater. Problem, though, is when I go to use these bales later, I go to snag one, I have a feeling the whole wall is coming down. Am I making contact? Oh, there's a gap. Okay. Forward. And see if I can unwind that. Out there. Now, depth. Just like so, and back up a little right there. Okay, pop out of view, slide out, take you this way, and why? I don't know, just, just because. And Q. And let's swing around in here and line this up a little bit. Now, ooh, there's the first conflict up there. Helper J is fighting with it. Helper D. Myro, no, Myro. There. All right. Back out, and... Um, let's see. We're at the very end of the queue, so let's go forward, but like so. You're fine. You guys. Yep, yep, there's a battle going on here. And they are flashing their beacons. Oh, they're angry. <laughs> Let's pull you out of here. Um, H. And back up. And we'll just leave you over here for a while. Solar is over there. Hmm. I see. They go at the same speed, but he probably takes a much longer time to turn around. That could be it. Which gives him a delay at every turn. Okay. Tell you what, let's spin this guy through the trees. Where can I sneak through there? Like that? Yeah, right over there. And your beacon's still on. I don't remember which key it is that turns that beacon off. Now, am I still going to be in his way? I bet you I am. Let's just leave it here for a moment. Okay. Turn you off. Beacons. 
Well, it's not B. And I've gone through the whole number keyboard. So I honestly don't remember which one that is. Well, the next helper. In fact, higher. Not doing me any good. Hmm. Well, we're just going to let those go. Anyway, I want to backtrack several. Right there. And what? Do a, a backwards Yui? Something like that. If I can see where I was going. There you are. Okay, let's go grab another load. Now, by now, I had planned on having the next uh, Craft the World series going with Mrs. Rambler. But I want to record the little intro of the Ice World to find that Craft the World had converted everything over to Halloween. And I just didn't want Halloween to be the, uh, the theme for that series. So, I'll slow down here. So, I've been waiting for them to pull Halloween up don't know if it's going to go straight to Christmas. You know, they, they do tend to hit all the holidays in that game. So I would like just to get winter. Just ice. Snow. So I'll be keeping an eye on that to see when I can go back in and, and uh, record a little intro of uh, you know, the abominable snowmen and the... Uh, oh, what, what were those creatures called? I've lost the name now, but you'll see when we get the series going. She's she's excited to get back into it. She was enjoying it. Oh, so that one is still yet to happen. I think we're seeing the end of our bales. I think so. Have you and one left, and he's sideways. I passed him before. I don't know if there was a way to knock him over. I mean, it'll pick it up anyway. But boom, there we go. But it just feels better going in the right orientation. So, B, turn you off. We don't need to dump you just yet. I'll hang on, I'll leave you on the trailer. So, hmm, let's pop up and get those other tractors going again. And I guess we will call this done. Right there, turn you off. And let's, let's just kind of tap through. Got one more look at the, uh, at the farm over here. And the sheep, and the bale of, of hay that is was tossed over accidentally, and the sheep's mess. Yep. Here's the cattle farm, and a little bit of silage over there that uh, never used up. This guy doing the sowing. This guy is happily plowing away, and let's go ahead and get him going again. Him cultivating. Uh, we're at 7 in the morning. We had a lot of work in one hour. What real time it really makes a difference. But if I had switched it to the next setting of 5 times real time, it's very likely that, uh, let's see, higher yield. Very likely you're not going to turn the beacons off. Oh well. That, uh, it'd be raining by now. You know, 5 times an hour and a half. So, yeah, we'd be going close to, close to noon by now. Yeah, we definitely would have been finishing out in the rain. I see we're slipping a little bit here. Yeah, a little bit of spinning going on. Neat how it does that. Yeah, it's trying to compensate for all the drag going on here. We've got all we got wheel weights and we've got weights in the front and still kind of slipping as we go. And what am I hearing here? Right over there. Uh, there. That guy. Plowing away. Okay. Let's continue just peeking around. There's our big pile of potatoes. And the potato field over there. <clears throat> so from here, you can see the there's field 5 off the distance. And there's our sower. Putting them back together again. So we've got all the fields off in this, this area here. All of those two. That one, that one, the one passed over there. We've got the poplar farm right over there. We've got an awful lot of, of the map covered now. I really do. Most of these harvesters are... Well, I take it back. The the one in the middle is going to go back. That one's just leased. And there's the warrior tractor. These guys, I think, were all leased, so we'll get those taken back, too. And you as well? Yeah. 
I'm not going to do any more poplar. That, that's not a very profitable uh, enterprise in this in this game. The with only one place, to, at least on this map, with only one place to dump the wood chips. The price is always uh, depreciated, so it's just never really worth it. And then pick up is the beginning. No, it's not. Got a little forklift for our mass uh, Morgan's massive motors there. Mm-hmm. And toggle through a couple more of these, and we're at the end. So with that, I guess we're going to call this one done. This is uh, the Noble Rambler signing off for the last time on, on Farming Simulator 17. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.